Yo, what's good? It's your boy Sid. We back at it. It's a new video, right? So this video is going to be on an astrological tip for those of you individuals who are like planners, who like to usually plan out your week, you know, ahead of time, maybe the week before, two weeks in advance, maybe a month in advance, right? Um, Just an observation. There's many things in the chart that you need to look at in terms of your own personal horoscope in relation to how um the transits or progressions are moving which is basically like transits are like, you know, how the plants are moving in real time. But um, I just want to show you something on a collective level that people can um may want to be aware of, you know, if again, you are a planner. So this is AstroSeek, right? This is the infamous AstroSeek. And with AstroSeek, they have what's known as um the moon phases in the moon calendar, right? So we're going to go let's see, we're gonna to go to a moon calendar and we're gonna go under here. And we want to go to yeah, the moon calendar, August 2024. Apply this to whatever month you're in, basically, right? So now as you see right here, we have the different tabs for the month. I'm in August right now, right? So you basically can go to whatever month you're in. And you want to see what sign the moon is in. Now, I did a video um, prior or previously with how to find what phase of the moon that the moon is transiting in and also the moon sign that the moon is currently going through, right? Now, the moon moves through each zodiac sign in about two and a half days, give or take, right? So keep that in mind. Now, today when I'm recording this is August the 7th. So I'm gonna scroll down, right, to August the 7th. And as you see right here, August the 7th. So as we have here, August the 7th, I'm currently, or on this current day, the moon is in Virgo, right? The constellation or sign of Virgo. And it's a waxing, crescent moon in terms of the phase right so um collectively right in astrology when we get into like mundane astrology mundane is a branch that determines like um the astrological cycles for like countries nations groups of people things of that nature so i'm not a i'm not a mundane astrologer right but i'm just giving this out so the moon actually rules over the collective of people right so that would be like the masses basically so the moon can show the energy of that current day because the moon moves uh pretty fast. Like I said, about two and a half days, uh, it moves, excuse me, every two and a half days it moves to a sign. So I've noticed personally when we're talking about planning, right? For those of you who are planners, when the moon is in Pisces, Pisces governs what? It governs sleep. It governs rest, meditation, retreat, isolation, Right? So I've noticed personally when the moon is transiting through Pisces, which we see here, it's going to be in August the 20th through the 21st, right? I've noticed personally that you may feel more prone to being tired. So if you're just trying to plan things out, you may want to not put too much on your to-do list when the moon actually goes through Pisces. So you might want to just keep that in mind. Now, on this day, hypothetically speaking, it says that at... 11.02 p.m. And again, it depends on where you're at in the world, you know, by time zone and stuff. That's when the moon will go into Aries. So once the moon goes into Aries, that's more of a time to initiate things. That's more of a time to take action. You may find also that collectively people tend to be more aggressive, more accidents can happen, more arguments, because this is what Aries represents. It's the constellation of warfare, right? It's ruled by Mars. Mars is the god of war. So that was a short little video, right? Um, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I got more videos coming soon, but just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Just do these two signs. If you see Pisces coming up and the moon going through it again, you may not want to plan too much. Um, Aries, you can wait right after that to Aries to initiate things. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's for the collective. All right, y'all.